Hey, what's good, everyone? Welcome back. It's God's vision. And today I'll be doing the esoteric or the sole purpose of the Capricorn energy and its relations to Saturn, Mars, Pluto, the moon, Cancer, Taurus, Libra, and Scorpio. Okay. Um, Capricorn. Okay, I'm going to say this in all the videos, but they're all beautiful signs because they're just all 12 energies provided to us in order for us to learn how to bend and use within us. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. I'll be smoking. It's not like anything like that. Um, so, like I said in the previous videos... I feel like we're all avatars or we're all Hercules, right? Going through these different rays in life, these different aspects of life, which to me is just like the 12 houses and the zodiac wheel. Um, and so we all have to use these energies or we all come across these energies. Like this is, these are ancient his, um, energies. So we all go through... Um, these different signs it's just depending on the sign you are or the prominent sign or energy or modality or polarity that's in your chart that's the one that you, that's the kind of energy you're going to have to go through and learn over and over again its lessons and be with it and learn how to master it i'm gonna do a separate video about this and i didn't really finish explaining it in the scorpio video um but to be a god, to be a master, to be an av avatar is to master, but the shit that you go through is what, make, what, is what makes you who you are. And so the very thing we have to master is the very thing that like drag us all the way through the motherfucking mud. Okay. And Capricorns know this for sure. You know, being ruled by Saturn. And on an esoteric level, you also, just like Leo, Leo and Capricorn are the only ones who are ruled by the same sign. Leo and esoteric astrology is still ruled by the sun. The Capricorn is still ruled by Saturn. And um, <clears throat> I also know how Saturn gets down. Okay. Uh I may not be a Capricorn or have any Capricorn personal placements, but Saturn aspects certain stuff and Saturn is in certain houses where it's just like, I get it. Okay. I get y'all. Okay. Um, Capricorn. Well, first of all, let's start off with people pin Capricorn ass. People pin Capricorn to be cold, detach, not caring about anything but the material world, a workaholic, um, and just straight up cold. I hear cold and workaholic a lot. And I'm just like, really? Really? Okay, so <clears throat> Capricorn is beautiful to me because it's like, it's the Hmm, how can I say it? It's the sign where you have to make the final decision. It's the, it's the final hour type shit, right? So in Virgo, it was going into hermit mode. It's the hermit card. And I'm about to talk about the devil card too. But um, in Virgo, it's the hermit card. It's going within, finally making the, the decision to go, with, go within. And seeing the personality as the womb and the what's in gestation within is the soul so it's basically perfecting the, the personality which, which is going to be the instrument the vessel in which your soul can properly exercise its mission with scorpio is like what you go through within that right so it's the constant testing the constant failing the constant taking away but it's to make you better is to get you to use the esoteric rule of Scorpio which is Mercury get you to use your mind to switch your perspective and the way you do things um, 
it's to, it's like to see who's the strongest to see if you even basically Scorpio is the, it's the strength of your it's to test the strength of your soul and your mind like it's one thing it's where you prove that you want to walk the talk that you, you that that you actually like you're not just talking about walking the talk but you're actually like going to walk the talk it's like it's like a Capricorn is the final test. Scorpio is like the pretest. But Scorpio is <clears throat> the toughest energy to deal with. So Scorpio placements, I'm, I have Scorpio placements too. We have the toughest life, and it's not something to brag about. But the reason we have the toughest life is because it's a bunch of pretests, and it's it's getting the the human ready to to be you know op- well, operating from the soul level operating with the divine mission and that that requires strong like look y'all call it the spiritual journey no it's just life the spiritual journey is just life period but when you're like alive when you're awakened like when you're paying attention when you're conscious when you're aware when you when you have discernment but I, but once that happened, ignorant the quote ignorance is bliss exists for a reason. The movie mate the matrix exists for the reason. Red pill or blue pill. Scorpio is when you first take the red pill and then you have to like get used to the reality and um or should I say no. Scorpio is when Morpheus is telling Neo what the blue pill and the red pill is. Okay, and um, but Capricorn is when you make the decision to swallow the pill, and there's no turning back from it. No turning back. That that I want to emphasize. There's no turning back because it's ruled by Saturn. It's karma, and an awakened Capricorn learns like what you see is what you get. Like what you do is going to be returned to you probably even tenfold shit I know this it's like you can't we can't do shit we can't do shit without like getting caught right away we're the one who gets in trouble first and Saturn astrology I they say the son is the father and I see that but I really see Saturn more as the father and and it is considered the father but then they try to consider Saturn the grandfather I'm like no Jupiter is the grandfather but just flow with me flow with me okay this is the 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 part of the father people don't like the disciplinarian the person that keeps you in check the person that tells you what you did wrong tells you what you went where you went wrong and um but also it's the part of the father that you realize later down in life that you grow to appreciate you know i'm already having these moments like i go through situations or i see other people go through situations and i just be like damn like you know i'm glad because a lot of people in this life didn't get to be raised by their father or have support of their father, even have their father in their life. And um, it just made me grateful that I at least have my father in my life. We bumped heads a lot. You know, we don't talk, but what he instilled in me is still in me today and it's still I, I'm seeing that basically fathers instill in you what is necessary and like mothers nurture you like the other parts they're supposed to do both because everybody's supposed to be balanced but fathers have a way of giving you tough love um you may not see the point in the present but you will see the point later down the line because Saturn rules time. So it's instilling in you what is long term, what is long time, 
what is what what would be a classic what what do we know classics to be things that were from history still being relevant today because time is it's, it's time you learn that time really doesn't exist right so in our human brain we think oh this from 30 years ago still relevant today we can still see people dressing like this or the music is coming back and and things like this but time doesn't exist it's more of how true it is how real it is how connected to the universal truth it is right and that's what Saturn teaches you in astrology so it's like and, and it's ruled by it's the sea goat but let's let's think about the goat first I'll get to the mythology next but the goat period and the mountaintop it's like just like Scorpio but its test is to climb up the mountain and sometimes you're gonna slip and fall but it's it's climbing up the, the mountain but but that's more look <clears throat> Virgo and and Scorpio and Capricorn are different but because they're so connected but I'm gonna get to in the end why I'm doing it like this but So Capricorn, so the mountaintop, right? The mountaintop for Cap, that's like the Scorpio part, part of it. The the trying to go up and slipping and falling and making sure you don't step on this stone and remembering that there was a stone in here and knowing what to take a rest, not really trying to push yourself too far. You know, if there's the tree stump by, take a rest there. That's what I learned as a Scorpio placement is to go with the flow. Um not to do too much, not to do too little, uh, learn from what I did before, um, see a pattern, that's what you learn in Libra, each zodiac, it's like, it's one thing, it, it's unique in what you have to learn within the zodiac, but it's just a, it's also a, a pile on from the previous, uh, zodiac, so Scorpio already learned how to master balance, now is more of keeping a balance and also keeping a control of your desires, your dark side. And that's uh, a similar similarity between Scorpio and Capricorn is conquering your desires, the beast. But in Capricorn, it's also is also conquering um, the material world because Capricorn can have an attachment to the material world. And that's it's one of his tests because it's opposite is cancer. So um, oppositions, like I say, in squares are very important because they teach you what you are missing and what you have to integrate. So Capricorn learns from cancer like I need to be more emotional. I need to be more open. I need to realize it's not really the physical material attachment that matters. It's really more of the emotional attachment but even a cancer cancer learns it's not really an emotional attachment i i, I want to get rid of the word attachment because the taurus scorpio cancer capricorn access one thing they learn is detachment but for the most part cancer is emotional capricorn is physical so um but we know definitely <coughs> especially from the taurus scorpio access that um, if you're going to be attached to something, you might as well be attached to something that's within instead of external. Because when something external is taken away from you, then you will fall just like that. Th that will. You will be affected. And Cancer, we, we, from Cancer all the way to Capricorn, we should have been learned all the way in Cancer that how to be secure within ourselves too. It, cancer's tagline is, I build a lighted house and therein dwell. So it's being the house ourself. It's being secure within self. You know, things can come and go, but like it, when it goes, I'm not really tripping. My mood will not be affected by it because it learned from its opposite polarity, Capricorn, how to set boundaries. But Capricorn can have too much 
boundaries, right? To where it now was walls with no doors. You you just closed everybody off and you forgot to build a door too. Like you can't even at least open it when you decide to let people in, right? So the mountaintop. So the goat climbs the mountaintop, but the test of Capricorn, the final test. Is on the mountaintop. Because I told y'all. Every Scorpio. I mean not every. Ta- I'm getting. My Pisces Mercury is fucking up. Hold up. Every sign. There we go. Every sign has a tagline. And in the other videos. I told you how I imagine like a superhero. Or like people at a group meeting. And they're introducing themselves. And they have this like tagline. That kind of sums up their purpose. It sums up their test in life for you and it's it's something that you don't get at first right um but then once you get it you realize how simple it, it is and how it's in its tagline already so capricorn is lost in my and light supernal supernal means divine lost in light Lost am I in light supernal, yet on that light I turn my back. Capricorn is about the spiritual initiation and the will to achieve on behalf of the soul's purpose. Okay. So let's talk about lost am I in light supernal, yet on that light I turn my back. Light. Let's 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 think of the word light. And let's take it back to the yin yang symbol. Yin yang, where is light on the yin yang? It's on the yang side. So it's on the masculine side. It's on the, the physical side, the material side, the light side. And too much of one thing as we know, obviously can be harmful is to have a balance. And the way I see it, you can either be blinded by the light or you could be the light. If you're balanced, you could be the light. If you're too much on the yang masculine side, you could be blinded by the light. You could be blinded by the, the physical realm, the material realm. You're, and then Capricorn is the 10th house. So you can be blinded by your career, your status, your reputation, your representation, your image. Shit that at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. I did a video on this. I'm going to tag in the description box. I did a video on pride. Always go it before the fall. That's what you learn with Saturn. And we all learn that. We See, we all go through these zodiac signs. We all go through this Capricorn energy where we learn pride always come before the fall and we also learn like being selfish and having things to yourself and acquiring all these riches but keeping it for yourself and not really sharing it the way you're supposed to that's when you get into the devil energy you you get into the devil energy both ways whether you're too much in the dark or too much in the light and I think this is where the whole fallen angel and why it's the devil and tarot comes from. And the devil and tarot, like when it's upright, is bondage, it's addiction, it's attachment, it's uh, it's something that's toxic. But when it's reverse, is breaking free from all that. And so. In Capricorn, it's the spiritual initiation. It's the final decision. See, in Libra, you cho- it's, I choose the way that leads between the two lines, the two, let me, the two lines of great force. Let me read it. I choose the way that leads between the two great lines of force. Okay. So you choose to basically walk the middle. Scorpio is when you, when you're like, okay, I'm serious. Virgo is when you, you draw the outline, like this is what I have to do in order 
to be the best me. So I'm going to draw out a, a routine, the six house. I'm going to draw a routine and a schedule and see what I have to do. Libra is when now um, you're doing what is right for you, what is healthy for you, the best. It's when you start to make the order out the chaos. Virgo is making, it's, it's listing the order. Libra is when you start to make the order. Scorpio is like what you go through while like being trying to be the best you. So the ups, the downs, the, the times when you want to give up, the times where you just take a break, the times when you get back to work, the times when you're feeling the most passion, right? That's Scorpio. Sagittarius is when like you have a focus, you're not really all over the place. The Gemini Sagittarius axis, you're not really all over the place. You have an aim. I would do that in the Sagittarius video. You have an aim. And now you have like an, an aspiration to achieve something. That's Sagittarius. And the Capricorn is like, okay, I'm building, I'm achieving, but is are you going to gain an ego? Are you going to start thinking you're higher than everyone? Or are you going to achieve and be a workaholic and only focus on work and not your all and balancing your cancer side, which is also home? You know, um, are you addicted to outside stuff? Or um, are you neglecting cancer, your body, your feelings? Um, or are you having ambition? Are you want are you want are you doing all these things to for a purpose to give back to help to uplift your community build something that you can pass down so the mountaintop the goat is on the mountaintop now imagine or just you, a person on top of the mountaintop. And, and, and you're on this. You are, you, you are on, you're in the highest point in your life. And this is where we tend to see most great leaders, great teachers, people who have great responsibility. This is where we, mo we see them fall. It's the pride. It's, it's being blinded by the light, by the riches and shit, and not being in the light. On, not being on top of the mountaintop, being the light. It's being blinded by the light. It's, you get lost into the things that you you acquired, and you're not using it for what you said you was going to use it for, right? And that's your only focus. And we see a lot of great leaders fall at that point. You know, with great power comes with great responsibility. That's what Capricorn learns. With great power comes with great responsibility. And it, realize, and it realizes like I can either get lost with all this power and mis misuse it. And um, or I can use my power for good. Use my privilege for good. See, I tell people around me like if you do have privilege, use it. But I see how that gets taken the wrong way. But if you understand where I'm coming from, you get what I mean. If you have a privilege, use that shit for good. Don't we see we see many examples today of people who do have privileges, but now see that's the Capricorn energy. That's the Capricorn energy, right? We see people having these privileges and having more freedom and more of an ability to do things many people don't have the ability or the freedom or the privileges to do and they exercise it for bad they exercise it to have control over others to inflict pain and so yes these are tests these are all questions on the capricorn test but this is why saturn every time we step out of line it puts us back in check because having that devil energy is fucking nasty and just like in Scorpio, you learn that you sting yourself in the end. And it's karma. 
what you see is what you get what you do to others comes back to you tenfold you're gonna you're gonna really realize the pain that you inflicted on others by bringing back to you on tenfold because if what you did to others was no big deal to you well let me give it back to you tenfold so you can see how they felt See, that's what fathers teach you. When you get in trouble, it's like, this is why you got in trouble. And let me tell you why this is fucked up. Because later down the line, Saturn thinks about long term, like I said. Because later down the line, this shit will bite you in the fucking ass. And it's an earth sign. It's about building. And the Cancer Capricorn axis is about ancestors. So therefore, it's about generations. Saturn teaches you how to break the fucking generational curse. See, one thing especially in the black community one thing when our children get better than us a lot of people get jealous of our child or try to hold back their child what saturn restricts and delays it doesn't it doesn't restrict and delay you from your destiny which i'm gonna get to the mythology of it it doesn't restrict or delay you from your destiny it restricts and delays you from fucking up your destiny but a lot of parents and and the human you know this human world they hold back their child but they need to use that capricorn energy that earth element energy to build but saturn teaches you like to learn from the last time like hey we try building like this 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 doesn't work try using these bricks and try lining them up like this and this is what is going to make it more stable and um build higher and it, and it wants to make sure that because you're higher it wants to make sure you're stable enough that you don't fall and that the higher you are the harder to crash Capricorn is like the tree, like it's rooted. It's like a redwood tree. It's rooted, but it's, it's so high. So imagine a person on a mountaintop. They say, lost am I in light supernal. Yet on that light, I turn my back. It means the person, while lost in the light, starts to hear something. This is what William Meter said. I, I wrote it word for word. He said, meaning the disciple while lost in light supernal starts to hear something. A cry. Listen closer. Realizes it's a cry from the bottom of the mountain of suffering humanity. It's the pivot of the pedestal. It's the commit to carry down the light of life, of love and wisdom down the mountain and culture and civilization and make a practical an uplifting contribution to the betterment of society or to the betterment of something. And this is and this is this is what I imagine. So a person on the mountaintop says, Lost in my life supernal, yet on that light I turn my back. And we were just talking about pride always coming before the fall, right? And we were just talking about the how you are, the harder the crash, right? So um, and we were just talking about the red pill and the blue pill. And once you take the pill, it's no going back, right? So imagine like, okay, so the person makes a decision to take the pill. Even if you make the decision to take the blue, take the blue pill, once you take the blue pill, look, when you're on the mountaintop and you make the decision to keep your pride and, and not to remember what you learned to Scorpio, which is. We kneel by rising, which is humility and Capricorn. So Scorpio and Leo need to learn humility. Capricorn, Scorpio and Leo learns the battle with the ego. And it's like, once you take the blue pill on the mountaintop, once you be like, nah, I'm going to keep it for myself. I imagine like the 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 person or the goat just the mountain just disappears and you just fall like that right there is just karma and and there's no going back on your decision like fine you failed like you failed and then the mountain just drops like right but when you take the rail pill nothing happens and then you you make the pivot of the pedestal right so you turn down and everything you learn from the way up and you saw how beautiful it was 
instead of being only in your Capricorn energy and enjoying this view on the mountaintop by you by yourself you go down to everybody else and be like hey it's beautiful up there and I went up there and yes it was tough but it's not impossible and I know the way and follow me Cap Capricorn is about being a leader with great power comes with great responsibility and also remembering that you're a leader I'm gonna make a separate video about this but what makes great leaders and great teachers and great managers and great bosses is remembering that they too are employees they too are still students they too are still learning great teachers sometimes don't make great students because they feel like they already know it all they went through it all but it's just like no you're still learning it's also like reading a book one time but then reading the book another time and you catch what you didn't see or you watch a TV show and you catch what you didn't see. It's like, yeah, Capricorn, you have to go back down and get everybody back up the mountaintop. But when you go back the mountaintop, you're going to learn even more. And you're going to become wiser. And you're going to become people, somebody people can look up to. So with the mythology, you know, some people associate Capricorn with two things. One, um, the satyr pan or precus or Pricus. And the satyr pan, I see the connection where people say maybe that's Capricorn because of, you know, it's a, it's a half human, half goat. And he's not really, he's just fun. He's connected to the wild, connected to the nature. And he's not really too hung up on you know the material stuff the 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 shit like that like he he cares about nature and the earth and stuff like that so i see that connection then they also say Pricus or Pricus. um and him was like he had kids like he he was immortal but he had kids and the longer so they're sea goats and the longer they stayed out of the sea the more you know you turn into an actual land goat and you won't be able to um, return back to being a seagull and um Precus didn't want to like lose his kids like that made him very alone so Capricorn right alone cold and he didn't want that and so he kept trying to like you know reverse time see uh this is Saturn being ruled by it's, it's ruling time so he tried to re reverse time so um having his kids come back to the sea so that way they stay seagulls even longer but he realized, like, no matter how many times he reversed time, that that same exact thing is going to happen. Like, they're going to go out onto the land and he's going to they're going to become like real goats. So he realizes, right, this is where I mentioned it earlier. He realizes that he cannot control destiny. It's like, oh, if that's what they're going to have to be. That's what they're going to have to be, right? And he begged and pleaded the gods, like, you know, um, Kronos. Kronos is the ruler of time. He, you know, like, you no, know, don't make me immortal. Or like, I want to die and shit like that. But instead, um, he let him go into the sky and become the constellation we know today as Capricorn. So, yes, um... Let me see if I covered everything. Oh, yes. Um, one more thing. So the goat. Um, when I was talking about the red pill or the blue pill, I should have used this example, but it still worked. Um, being on top of the mountain. So personality astrology, you know, traditional astrology, um, Capricorn is the goat. But esoteric astrology, Capricorn is the unicorn. The goat has two horns. The cap, uh, the unicorn has one horn. And okay, so in the beginning, I said Capricorn is the final test. So it's to see, like, it's the spiritual initiation. It's to, you know, Scorpio, you were doing the pre-test. You were, it was, you were doing the fitness test. You know, uh, strength work for the soul and stuff like that. And then Capricorn is like taking the test and then passing the test and it's the spiritual initiation it's like the on top of the mountaintop 
you came you came at your peak in the material world but do you know the mission do you remember the mission or is this only going to be about you and once you make that decision to go back down the mountaintop and bring the love and the wisdom and and aspiring to share what you saw on the mountaintop back down the mountaintop and get and, and bringing everybody along with you um that's when you that's basically your spiritual initiation it's when you officially become a disciple right a, a soldier of god that's when it officially starts um we're gonna get to aquarius soon but aquarius is the water bearer and it's um the water of knowledge so it's like capricorn gained this water of knowledge but in order to pass the test of Capricorn and to go into the test of Aquarius, it's like, do you want to be a water bearer? Do you want to share that knowledge that you're going, going to have to do in Aquarius? Or are you going to keep it for yourself and just be stuck in Capricorn? All that karma and shit and, and, the, and the building and starting over and stuff like that. So um, the GOAT... It has two horns, which is a, a representation of the soul and a personality. And then once the, the goat makes the decision, the Capricorn person makes a decision to, I'm going to be a disciple, I'm going to be a soldier, I'm going to carry out this mission, and I'm going to aspire everybody to build the kingdom to its highest, but also remember that it is... Yes, you build your kingdom to your highest, but it's not just for you. It's to share. And it's to make everybody in abundance, right? And once you make that decision, that's when the horns fuse together as one and you become the unicorn. So, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have anything to add, please do. Um... If you like to support this channel, you can do donate below in the description box. And as always, I'll catch y'all next time.